So hey Fig Fam, I wanted to talk to you guys today about what your fig tree does in the fall. Temperatures are cooling, it's starting to lose its leaves, everything is slowing down, and it's getting ready for its winter dormancy. So let's check it out. All of these trees are going dormant, little by little. We still have some warm days ahead of us. We still have some cool days ahead of us. And what we're starting to see is this wood is lignifying with the warm days. And on the cool days, the leaves are falling off. A lot of us get those beautiful yellow leaves because of how humid it is here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. We get a lot of fig rust leaves that slowly turn brown and fall away. And a lot of my trees are already dormant, like Taramo. But a lot of fig trees are still ripening figs despite losing their leaves because there's still a lot of warm days left. These figs will ripen. It's gonna get cold in the next few days, even a frost warning in some areas. But with weeks with ahead of us or days ahead of us with highs in the 70s, we're gonna see these ripen. And I'll post about it. My coldedoms have been ripening like crazy. Coldedom noir. And coldedom blanc, I wanna show you all the figs, but I've already eaten most of them. <laughs> but as you see, if you're anywhere where you don't have to deal with a lot of fig rust, you will see a beautiful yellow leaf when it falls but as for now these leaves are turning brown they're slowly breaking down decomposing and the tree is getting ready for dormancy if you have figs on your tree that aren't ripening before it goes fully dormant that's okay but they will not ripen for you in the spring. If there's any sort of freeze, they will shrivel up and they will fall off. And so a lot of times, if you know you're entering full dormancy, like these won't make it, these Figo Predos, they might, because I live in a warmer climate. But a lot of these figs, if they don't make it, I take them off and I wait for next year's crop. Since this is new wood from this year, and you have a fig tree that might have a Braba crop like this Paradiso, on all these nodes in the spring, all the way up and down, you will get the chance to have a Braba fig. Now Paradiso, it's a nice Adriatic fig. I picked this one a little early, but it's still ripening for me. But you're not gonna get too many more days left a fig's ripening for you. But the key is you got to let them sit extra long in the fall because the days are cooler. And what figs really need to ripen any sort of fig is heat and sun. When things start to cool down, it not only does it might not happen, but it, if it does, it needs extra days. So a fig tree that takes, you know, two, three days to fully ripen a fig might take six or seven days. And the flavors may even change, right? I'm getting more of the um, green vegetative flavor in the skin. It's not a lot, it's just coming through because you can see a lot of sweet pulp in here still to be had. But I let that hang on there for a week. Another thing you will notice is that the fig's skin gets thicker. Uh, happens with less humidity, but happens with cooler temperatures as well. So we might not see a lot of the same flavors we were used to maybe a month ago here. Another big part of going dormant for fig trees is the flow of their sap. If I take my fingernail on this one year growth, and I kind of cut it right there, you'll see the sap coming through. So right now we have sap flowing through all of these new branches. And this is a perfect example of a three-year 
fig tree. And a three-year fig tree, what I mean by that is the first year they sleep, the second year they creep, the third year they leap. So I had a one-year tree here, a second-year tree that kind of grew a little more, and then third year, you see all this new growth. So any brown growth like this that's recently lignified, that is one-year growth. And what'll happen next year is you'll have the opportunity for Brava crop, and you'll have the opportunity for branching off of all of these nodes. Sometimes the fig will decide for you. Sometimes us as fig growers try to guide the fig for it. I have my main scaffolding branches here. And then I have all this first year growth. My goal, and I'm not going to do this now, but I want to see the healthiest branches this fall. When the sap stops flowing, I want to kind of take, take an assessment, slow down with the tree, take a hard look. I think I might pull out some suckers, right? So we have one sucker here that's clearly going to have its own roots. I'm going to have all these cuttings, right? But I want to keep the middle open. So that'll be a video this winter when we talk about pruning, is how do we want to prune our fig trees for success? And really it comes down to just keeping the center open creates airflow and allows sunlight to get to our figs like I said earlier, for our figs to ripen, we need lots of sunlight and lots of warmth. The second we start to lose those, the more time it takes for the figs to ripen. So instead of those three, four days, you need those six or seven days. Now these Adriatic ones are great because they deceive the birds almost as much as they deceive my own brain. So that one's a little soft, but not there yet. And it's been soft for like five days. Not many. We have Mount Etna fig left. Again, this has been sitting here for like four or five days. Where in the summertime, I may have it on for like, I don't know, a day and a half, two days. And that one probably could have still sat more. And the flavors are still mild. It's still delicious, right? with less sunlight, also the dark figs don't get quite as dark. You'll see a lot of paler hues and lighter hues on the dark figs. But that's really, I wanted to cover like what, if you are newer to growing figs, what to expect come fall time. You know, a lot of people go, oh no, my fig might be dying or it's not doing well. And, it's doing everything it's supposed to. They are deciduous trees. They are designed to go dormant every winter. They just don't like harsh, cold climates. So if we do live in a harsh, cold climate, we have to do things to protect our figs. And if we live in a climate conducive to figs, which is a lot of climates, we just need to remember how to take care of them. And that just means understanding what environment the figs do best in to grow well and to be happy. But anyway, that's my quick update. I just wanted to talk about what happens to your fig tree in the fall when things slow down. So, hey guys, I really, really appreciate your time. I really appreciate and I'm grateful for sharing these videos with you. Uh, so if you have a chance to subscribe, go ahead and click out below, click the like button, follow along. I am also putting out content on philsfigs.com. So get on the email list there. And it's kind of like an all access pass. I'll tell you everything you need to know about fig trees. A lot of times us as gardeners slow down this time of year and that's very, very healthy, right? It's a time to reflect. And as we slow down in the fall, our brains turn into research mode. And that's when we start to gather information for the spring ahead. And that starts now and it's really, really fun, right? So now as we do the information gathering phase as gardeners with our winter crops going, I will be producing content that'll prep you for the springtime. And that's my ultimate goal. I think that's us as gardeners and plant people uh, that we start to just forecast the opportunity ahead. 
Uh, all right, Freak Fam, that's all for now. And I hope you got a lot out of this video as to what your tree is doing in the fall. And please reach out with questions. I'm happy to answer them. Please comment below or reach out to me directly. Cheers, Freak Fam.